Right, so now let's have a look at the calculation of weak acid and strong base. So let's say you have 25 ml of 0.1 molar acetic acid titrated with 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. So since we have the volume and also the concentration of our acetic acid, so acetic acid is going to be your analyte and then your sodium hydroxide is going to be your titrant. Okay, so the first one, what? Calculate the pH uh, if you add zero, more, zero mils of sodium hydroxide. So actually this one is just the initial pH. So since zero ml NOH is added, means that you didn't add the titrant yet. So the in the conical plus is only have your acetic acid. So the dissociation of acetic acid, since it is a weak acid, partially dissociate. So to calculate the pH, you need to find the value of X because the X is the concentration of H2O plus at equilibrium. Okay, after you got the concentration of uh, H plus, you can calculate the pH. Okay, so that one is for, uh, if you recall it back, uh, how to calculate the pH of the weak acid. So that's how you do it. Okay, but let's say if your uh, analyte is the base. So the pH initial is going to be the pH of that base. Lah. Okay, so depends on the question. It's not necessarily you start uh, the pH with acid actually okay it depends on the question you need to identify which one is your analyte which one is your titrate okay so b when you add 10 ml of sodium hydroxide so initially there is 25 ml of 0.1 molars acetic acid so at one uh, at 10 ml of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide the total volume is going to change to 35 ml so your reaction tables you cannot use the concentration uh, anymore because the uh, total volume is changed now. So you use number of mole, okay, just like before. Okay, find the limiting reactant. So since the base uh, is gonna finish uh, uh, it's gonna finish up. So the change in constant uh, the change in number of mole is 1.0 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Okay, so now finally in the solution you got weak acid and salt. Okay, for strong acid and strong base uh, just now, okay, we have uh, strong acid and salt present in the solution. But it is not a buffer solution. Right now, uh, in this situation, you have a weak acid and salt that produce the same conjugate. Okay, same conjugate base, which, which is CH3CO-. So this one is actually a buffer solution. Alright, acidic buffer solution. Because we have weak acid and salt produce same conjugate base. So to calculate the pH, you need to use the henderson hasselbalch equation. Okay, so the concentration of your conjugate base here is actually the concentration of your salt. Okay, so just put everything in the formula. You will get the pH of the buffer. Alright, next, pH at equivalence. So at equivalence, only salt and water are present, so there is no more acid or base. Okay, so uh, if you remember the classification of salt, so you need to do the dissociation of the salt and then uh, determine the ion which one is going to hydrolyze in waters because the pH is going to depend on the ion that is hydrolyzed in water. So in this case, the CH3CO- is hydrolyzed in water to produce the OH-. So the pH at equivalence for the weak acid and strong base okay, at equivalent is bigger than 7. So find the volume of sodium hydroxide added at equivalent. So we are going to use formula MAVA over MBVB equals to A over B. So since the ratio of our acid and base is 1 to 1, so the volume here is 25 ml. Okay, last but not least, we have the pH final. Okay, the pH final, remember the pH final is for titrant only. So since our titrant is sodium hydroxide, find the pH of the sodium hydroxide. So first the dissociation produce OH minus. So you calculate the pOH and then you will get the pH value. Okay, to draw the titration curve. Alright, so remember pH here is in the conical flask. Volume is referred to the volume in the burette. Okay, the pH jump, 
right? The pH jump for the weak acid and strong base titration is around 7 to 11, all right? So here, if you notice here, we have the buffer region because we start with weak acid, okay? We add weak acid and uh, strong base a little by little, okay? Uh, before it reach the equivalence point, okay? The base is going to be our limiting reactant. So the solution present is weak acid and salt. So here is the buffer region. So we acid and salt that produce the same conjugate is the buffer solution. So we have a buffer region here. Okay, and then after the equivalence point, okay, the weak acid is going to be our limiting reactant. So there is no more weak acid. All right. So we have a strong base and salt. So strong base and salt is not a buffer. So there is no buffer region up here. So that's it.